This is getting serious. Come now, Bob. Remember that we are partners, after all. Why have you forgotten? Alex Reynolds. <laughs> my name's Christopher Lowe. I'm a Navy SEAL. I'm here to get you out of here, all right? There's no one on of explosives down here to level the entire block. So don't test me on it! So what I'm asking you to do until Alice is, is safe and well, that you'll behave. You'll consider each other as Alice's mom and dad, not as husband and wife. How can one make sense of a world brimming with senseless violence? It is written in Job 1.21. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. We all had our faith tested over the events on St. Patrick's Day. God tells us to forgive and love thy neighbor, but he is also giving and understanding. Today, it is perfectly natural to feel anguish and resentment. God knows I'm feeling them both right now. But my family and the American people continue to stand united against hatred and violence showing that we reject the fear that terrorism seeks to breed, showing we love each other, that we love our country, and that is our strength. Please, Commander, please, if you see any opportunity to save my girl, just take it. I'll do what I can. This is our opportunity, boys. I'm not going to miss it. Let's go, 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 go. Let's go, Chris. We don't have authorization!
Every time my phone beeps, I think it's him. Just for a moment, and then I remember. Well, it's gonna hurt for a long time. There's no getting around it, I'm afraid. Everyone else walks on eggshells, tells me that time will heal, it gets easier every day, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it does get easier. You know, it's just a little hard to notice it sometimes. Thanks for coming. Yeah, well, I had to come into town today anyway, so. I hope it goes well later. Thank you. I'm so sorry about all the men that you lost. I hate myself for what happened. Hey, what happened was not your fault, Alice. And don't you ever think that it was. We choose to do what we do and put ourselves in those positions. You did not have a choice in the matter, okay? The best thing you can do to honor those that didn't make it out of there is to live. You know, make a difference. Change the world. So no pressure then. Right. It was usually Mike who gave the inspirational talks. Well, you can call me if you ever need a sounding board, all right? Thanks, Chris. You don't say. Hey, Chris. Yeah? Do you regret it? No regrets, Alice. Be safe. The president attended the memorial service in Manhattan earlier alongside his wife and his daughter. Alice, who was kidnapped and held hostage on the night, has since been recuperating at Camp David and made her first public appearance since the attack today. The first family asked the press to respect their privacy at this time. The memorial service was followed by the official state funeral for the many Navy SEALs who laid down their lives on the night to free Alice from her captors. Vice President Gavin Lawson and Bob Carson have since the attack taken a more active role in the running of daily White House duties to allow the first family to take some time to grieve and heal from the shocking night. With the inquiry into emergency service response failures coming to an end, the hope for some answers as to what went so tragically wrong, especially the events that led to Alexander Holt escaping from the hospital on the night, are eagerly awaited by the families of those who lost their lives that fateful St. Patrick's Day. President, we've completed the first stage of the security overhaul at the White House. The decorating team is coming this week to hide the new security cameras alarm so they blend in with the White House aesthetics. At the same time, we're moving offices because they're beginning to renovate the East Wing. Right now, everyone else's offices in the East Wing will be moving on Friday to the Eisenhower Building or Blair House. With the exception of the First Lady, her office will move to the uh, West Wing on the first floor. Now, this gives us an advantage because we are finally throwing the lawyers out of their offices and chucking them across the street. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, listen, tell it to me straight, Andy. You think Holt's still a threat to my family? We've had some unconfirmed sightings, but I don't know, sir. What about Holt's inside man at the White House? Any further leads? I'm sorry, sir. There's no more news there, but we're still investigating. Mr. President, welcome back. Thank you. Here we go. This is ready for your perusal and signature. You press the speaker button, you can speak with Alice right now. Allie, sweetheart, are you there? Allie? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, baby, are you all right? I'm scared. I, I, wanna, I just want to come home. Allie, the Secret Service are going to bring you back here. You stay with them. Do not leave their side. It's going to be all right, Allie. Okay. We'll see you soon. I love you. We love you. Hello? Yes, it's me. I wanted to let you know that we are going ahead with stage two. All it takes now is for me to give him the green light. 
You just need to sit tight and don't get involved. Stay close enough to monitor him, but don't interfere. Holt is meeting my guy in Atlantic City now to go over the fine points. If your paths should cross, do not show your hand. He doesn't know that I have you on the inside. Yes, that's right. Okay, good luck. It's good to meet you face to face, Holt. Our mutual friend confirmed that you were happy with how we took care of the mayor and City Hall in New York. I was really impressed. So I'm hoping you're going to continue with that winning streak. Yes, absolutely. Glad to be a service. So all we need now is Carson's access card. Yes, we. <laughs> Looks like you're on a winning streak. You're absolutely right. Excuse me, Mr. President. Marine One is here and ready to take you and the First Lady to Washington. When you're ready, sir. It was great spending the weekend with you, Alec. Right. I'll be heading back as soon as tonight's dinner's finished, OK? OK. You need me, you call me. She seems to be doing better. Yes, she is. I think she might come to DC for the weekend. Maybe another week or two. What about you? Rita, could you please come for longer than a day? I don't know, Paul. Let's see. Let's just get tonight's dinner out of the way first. To be honest, I just want to spend some time with Alice. All right. I think Alice would do anything for you, Louis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she wouldn't. Today marks one of the last days of the official inquiry into the St. Patrick's Day siege. The night where British ex-intelligence agent Alexander Holt instigated the kidnapping of Alice Reynolds and in the process killed many innocent bystanders, not only at the Josephine nightclub, but also in the parking garage in which he held Alice hostage for many hours before her successful rescue. Tomorrow, Commander Christopher Lowe takes his stand at the inquiry into the events of that night. Even though Alice Reynolds was rescued successfully by the Navy SEAL team under his command, Commander Lowe is accused of going against strict orders to not enter the garage, resulting in an even higher death toll on the night. Today, 
FBI agent Dan Murphy was released from his duties after the inquiry found his tactical decisions on the night, as well as the time it took on the ground to supply the White House with on-the-scene recon, was unacceptable. <laughs> into the building, and he is the only one that came out alive. Andy, my family and I aren't safe until you find Holt. He had people in the White House, goddammit. And get Carson into a safe house, he's turning into a drunk, worrying he's Holt's next target. You need to find me, Holt, and you need to find whoever his inside source was at the White House. You use whatever sources you deem necessary. I need this dealt with now, Andy. service to the country this evening, sir. It's always an honor to serve one's country, sir. And I really couldn't be happier that Ellis is safe. 
I am so pleased for you and the First Lady. Thank you. I've instructed Andy to send a second letter to Congress confirming that I am able to resume the presidency. Of course. I'm sure you could use some sleep, Bob, but I'm hoping you'll join me for a joint press conference later this morning. I serve at the will of the president, sir. Thank you. I think we lift that lockdown now, Andy. Yes, sir. Welcome back, Mr. President. Thank you. so embarrassing to be thought of as so inconsequential that you don't even qualify as a former president for all the privileges of a proper Secret Service protection detail. Do you have any idea, Bob, how easy it was to kill the two red cops set outside your house pretending to be Secret Service agents? At least we know what the Reynolds administration think of you. You know, whilst I was in hospital, and I'm feeling much better, by the way, I read this hilarious news item. Did you know that only 9% of the country were actually aware that there was any shift in presidency at all? You know, I've never met the answer to a trivia pursuit question. But here you are. You looking for something, Bob? What's over there? I don't think you'd get there in time, Bob. Even if you could, what does it matter? Because I have your gun right here. <laughs> Look, what do you want? Is it more money? I don't know. I don't know why I should give you any. You didn't exactly keep your end of the deal. I didn't keep my end of the deal? What did you do, Bob, huh? Whatever happened to keeping everybody outside of that building for six hours, Bob? I didn't expect senior officers to disobey you. Well, you know what? That's the thing about being commander in chief. Every now and then, somebody somewhere is going to expect you to command. So what do you want? I want your White House access card. You can't be serious. I'm very serious, Bob. So give it to me. Here it is. There it is. Are we good? Are we good? You think giving me this piece of plastic is going to make us even? And it? All debt's paid? <laughs> Let me think about it for a bit, Bob. Are we good? Um, every time I breathe in and out, it hurts because I got shot in the stomach. Did you read about that? Did you read how they killed all my men? That the FBI managed to trace and reclaim every penny I stole from Reynolds. So what do you think, Bob? Are we good? I have about $23 million in the bank or in stocks. And the first thing on Monday morning, when the market opens, I can sell them all and it's yours. <laughs> you, you would do that for me? Of course it would. By 10 o'clock Monday morning, it's yours. That is a huge gesture, Bob. Thank you. I, I mean, for someone like you to give it. What is it you called me in the press conference? A psychotic terrorist? I don't want 
want your money. Let me tell you what I do want. I want you to make a phone call. And when you're done with that phone call, I want you to take your own gun and put it to the temple of your head and pull the trigger. That was the moment, wasn't it? That was the bit where you thought, Holt's joking. I'm not kidding. You owe me this. And let me tell you why you're gonna do it. Because if you don't, I'm gonna tell the whole world how you tried to destabilize President Reynolds by kidnapping and killing his only daughter. How do you think somebody like you is gonna fare in jail? With literally every crook queuing up to stick it to you, literally. I just shoot you right now because you're not an idiot because you want your wife to sleep soundly for the rest of her life because you want your boy Robert to graduate from Harvard University room 305 right building 7 you're not an idiot Bob so stop acting like one dial the number on this I'm gonna read the message. Do it, Bob. Leave my family out of this, please. will give you the chance to save them. So why don't you end your life of bad decisions by making one good one? I have done some very bad things. I put my ambition above all else. It's Chris. Leave a message after the tone. Chris? Chris, are you there? Pick up. What am I saying? I know you're there. You're just ignoring me. Well, lucky for you. I can't believe you're cutting me out of your life like this. I know you're in pain, but this is pretty cool.
don't do it, man. Don't do it. Okay, wait. Look, look, wait, just wait. He's got my family. Listen to me. He's got my family. Is there still a no-fly zone in operation? Affirmative, Commander. I know where Holt is heading. I can see a helicopter now. It's got to be for him. I am Oscar Mike right now, heading up to Holt. Mr. Policeman, arrest me. Read me my rights. Hello, this is Detective Lewis. Back up and on your way. Now you know I will never see the inside of a prison cell. I have friends in high places. Oh, no, wait, you can't read me my rights, can you? You haven't got a partner or, or backup. Shut your mouth. Cars are open, Lowe. Don't let him get inside your head, Commander. You don't have a backup, do you? You don't even have a team. Oh, silly me, I remembered. I just killed them all, haven't I? Oh! We can hear everything. Stay calm. Oh, oh. Damn, Nick, this is Gold Knight. I need backup down here immediately. <laughs> you do need backup. You're losing your cool, huh? Shouldn't do that if you're the hero. Oh, what's your status? Repeat, what is the whole status? You tell them I'm alive and well, Christopher. Just like Alice Reynolds, I assume. They want him alive, Commander. Repeat, suspect to be apprehended and brought in alive. Shut up, Holt. We got Alice. It's over. You're over. Don't you worry about Alice Reynolds. I got to her before. Chris, I get to her again. I tell you will. Commander Lou, are you okay, sir? Please confirm your status. Damn, Nick, this is Gold Knight. Hold us down. I need backup. I need a medevac immediately. By the time you hear this message, you'll be standing in the Oval Office with blood on his hands. Well done, Bob. One more thing. You and I were always going to end up here, Bob. Do the right thing. We have reports coming in of unconfirmed sightings of terrorist Alexander Holt in Atlantic City. The CIA is investigating these reports. This on the day the official investigation into the St. Patrick's Day siege draws to a conclusion. One thing is for sure, questions must be answered. With the death toll so high, this was one of the worst terrorist acts seen on American soil in over a decade. I know it's your first week on the job and you're gonna learn a lot, but I don't wanna have to fill out the paperwork if you go and get yourself killed. Silly me, I remembered. 
but I just killed them all, haven't I? And family of the deceased will be outraged if they are not satisfied with today's outcome. And with the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Department of Defense in attendance, the government are not taking this lightly. However, Bob Carson was the man in the hot seat on the night. It will be interesting to see if any blame will go his way. Also, what of the rest of the government? The police, the armed forces, but in particular, the Navy SEALs that went into the car park. Ultimately, of course, the responsibility for this heinous crime lies with Alexander Holt. But I, for one, am interested to hear the testimony of the lead SEAL, the only man to enter the car park, Commander Michael Lowe. Sorry, that should be Commander Christopher. Let's hope they spell my name out, right? When they hang me out to dry. You selling something? What do you want? Whoa! Hey, look, I'm a drywall constructor, okay? I, I got no money. I don't want your money. I want you to take me to your work. And everything will work out okay. All right. Hey, just take it easy, okay? in there slowly. You try anything, you get a bullet in the back. Hey, Joe. Who are you? What's going on? What's going on is you got some new crew members on those East Wing renovations you're doing on the White House. We'll be joining you today. And if you tell me you got a problem with that, I'll shoot you. So don't try and be a hero. What is this bullshit? Right, come on, move. You two, you cooperate, you live. You don't, you get the same treatment. Up against the wall. Give me those overalls. You, get that truck. Up against the wall! Let's go, let's go! First three on your knees, the rest back of the truck. Go, in the truck. Go, go, move! Go, go, go! Go! Hold it up. Let's go, you're driving. Come on, move! Right. is a derailment of a Washington Metro train between Farragut North and Metro Center. Emergency services are on the scene. Stay tuned for more. Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet me the other day. You were right when you said I need to give my life meaning. I owe you so much for saving my life. So I'm going to move back into the White House tomorrow. It's time to be a family again with my mom and dad. Like you said, we can't change what has happened, but we can change how we let it affect us. 
Thanks again, Chris. And I'll see you soon. Halt. I said we would never speak again, but this has to be said, and it has to be said by me. We have backed your little plan up till now because it suited our agenda. You have failed once, and let me make myself quite clear, no one gets a third chance in life. You get into the White House, you get to the President, and you get my bloody money back. They just found Bob Carson and his wife dead. They're saying that they think it was a murder-suicide. So what would you have done in my position 20 years after any of you last did a day of active service? But that's beside the point, Lowe. You did not follow your orders. Mr. President, we have a situation. You have to come with us right now. We have to get you to the bunker, sir.